Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from World of VFX. So first of all, sorry from my end because I'm not consistent on this channel. Trust me, these days I'm really, really busy. But still, I'm creating a videos for all of you. So in this video, you'll be learning how you can import any FBX or OBG or any other file format models inside of Unreal Engine. So let's get started. So currently we are in Unreal Engine 5.2. So I already downloaded one model from Sketchfab, which is this. So you can simply go and download this model. It's completely free and also it's available on .fpx format. Also, you can use any file format. So after download, you need to unzip. So after unzip, you will get one FBX file and one texture folder where you'll get all of your textures. So jump into Unreal Engine and right click. Let's create a new folder and let's name it to model and then just press enter double click so right now you are in completely a blank folder then go to your that main folder select these two like fbx and textures and just simply you need to drag and drop into this folder that's it after that you will get this pop-up window also here that texture normals imported as a normal map simply press import all and that's it after importing all the files you will get this message and simply press clear and after that just close this window so right now you will get these three models this is exactly same all three are exactly same and this is the texture folders where you will get your all of your textures all right so if i'll drag and drop this models over here you can really check out what are the difference so basically these are all three same samples and you can simply click and press f to fit to screen and you can see these models are exactly same so whatever you will use it will work properly so now to use this as a material every model have their own default material let me show you how you can use that simply select any model go down you will find this element zero so double click over here and you will get this popped up window and it will look something like this trust me it's very easy actually now simply select and delete so the moving shortcut is the mouse left click so it will move like this only so now you will get this all test basic models okay so now i'll just press ctrl and then spacebar to open the contained browser and over there you can find out this model panel double click and you will find this textures simply select all the textures drag and drop into here so boom you have already successfully imported all the textures now basically what you have to do you just have to separate all the textures so that you can find out all the textures properly so now you have to connect the textures with their right own path so if you select this one you can obviously understand if you have a 3d knowledge you can definitely understand what textures are so as i say this is a color texture which is our base texture also you can call it a diffuse albedo whatever simply connect this rgb to this base color and over there you can see the textures are coming up here next the texture samples which is this is in emissive this is creating the glowing effects simply connect with this emissive which is here next is ao occlusion uh, ambient occlusion simply select you can find out this name it's called ao ambient occlusion also by the way you can change any textures like you can swap any textures from over here but i don't recommend do this so just simply go here click and drag into here and after that you have this metallic simply connect the metallic with metallic and this is my normal map simply connect the normal map with normal and this one is obviously the roughness simply connect the roughness with roughness so now you have your own material done now just press simply save it and you are good to go and then just simply close the window so now you can see I already applied on single material on single model but it will automatically applied on both the models that's why I'm told you earlier that all the models are exactly same so now you have this imported all with your materials and this is a pretty simply seamless process trust me you can do whatever you want to do and in the next video i'm trying to show you how you can customize with your all the you know assets how to customize with all your materials and how to create some more realistic stuffs but also if you want to change the lighting press ctrl and l also you can change the shininess and all so yes after doing that you can do whatever you want to do with your scene so yes, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this short, sweet and simple tutorial that how you can import any models from outside to your Unreal Engine project and create some really amazing stops. So if you feel that video is helpful for you, hit the subscribe button. I know this is free for you, but pressing subscribe, it's giving us motivation. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon. Bye-bye.